Hey guys, I want to quickly show you my auto weapon remounting script. Okay, so basically we'll just uh, make a new map here. Okay, so I'd better save that. Save as, we'll call it remount. Okay, so this is targeting when you've got, basically for the enemy, when they've got weapons and stuff on the field, uh, and you kill the units off it, and you want them to, someone to jump back on it. Okay, so we'll put a couple weapons out here, we'll put a machine gun, we'll put a mortar, and we might put a cannon. Okay, so let's save this. Now, as a rule, when I make missions, I always have player one as the enemy. And we'll put a couple of guys out here. save okay so we're going to do a couple little triggers here first one we're going to call re remount one and i'm going to tag this machine gun here as remount one add that Okay, and we're going to add a condition here. We're going to use C actors. And for the selector, we're going to change it to advanced. Add a group. We're going to include player one. We're going to include the prop human. We're going to exclude any of the state that are dead I'm going to exclude the state of inactive so if they've got the hidden tag they're not going to be included we're going to exclude the state linked which they'll be if they're already in a vehicle so we don't want anyone who's dead inactive or linked um, so okay on that and then for the enemy Going to go to advanced as well add a group select the tag remount one we're going to exclude uh, we'll do the broken components we'll put an asterisk in there which is above the eight shift eight and give you that we're also going to exclude the state inhabited so basically, if it's got someone on it already, we're going to exclude it. Um, okay, we'll also exclude the state inactive. Okay. So, you're going to put... For the detection we're going to have located and then in the distance we're going to go nearer then and we'll put in say 20 meters for now and then uh, so we can actually test that straight up we can by pressing start going into f3 while it's playing if we hover on there we either get it's got one and in in the close brackets it's got there equals zero so if I just grab that and move it closer. Now something's hang on. What? I know what's wrong. These guys are player O. Let's make them player one. So now we've got that condition one equals one, which is means it's true. So if we move this away, 
now equals zero so it's more than 20 away so we can quickly test that just like that okay so finish now remember to set these back to the right player which will be player one okay so now I want to add some tags to these guys okay so I'm going to click that so for the selector so the guy who sees this weapon that hasn't got anyone on it we'll call them remount remount a one and for the enemy I'll call that remount remounted one so just make that distinction between the two okay so the, we're going to add a command here which is going to be under actor board and for the selector it will be remount a one and for the vehicle it will be remounted remounted one I'm going to add short delay 0.5 add entity state and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply remove these tags so for the remount of one we're going to remove that tag copy that and for the remounted add another short delay and then add the trigger so resetting the trigger save now start there we go he's basically told to get on there and if we were to quickly just tag that is remount one okay so that's working all right what if let's put a guy on the map here make him play O and then someone else will jump on the gun so they're doing what we expect but the mortar here we want to have two guys mount that and this one has a crew of three even though it's effective with one but we'll look at putting three guys on that one and two on this so finish Back to my trigger, I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to call it remount 2. I'm going to tag the mortar as remount 2. And then here, change that to 2. That to 2. So changing all these to two. Okay, but as it stands right now, that's just going to put one guy on there. Just make sure I've got them all set to two. Okay, so what I'm going to add in here, I'm going to add an if statement, and in there, see actors again, 
and basically we're going to say we're going the weapon's going to be tagged as remount 2 here in the first one so I'm going to copy that and so again it'll be that one and in here we'll go advanced and we're going to use the same same what we used in the condition so it's going to include prop human include player one we're going to exclude the state dead the state inactive the state linked just make sure I've got that the same dead inactive linked okay now I'm going to move this up to the top here I'm going to copy a delay so I'm going to put half a second delay in there that board we're going to turn that off to turn that on and off you simply hold control and then click on it and you can actually turn them on and off real simple like that okay so we're going to only get we're not going to tag the enemy because it's already been tagged up the top there but I'm going to tag the selector and I'm going to tag him the same as the first one which is remounter 2 so it's going to get so this will be a second person tagged basically is what's happening and then inside we're going to add the board command which will be remounter 2 and the vehicle will be remounted 2 okay save so instead of the board function being there it's now in this second if statement which basically uses C actor to select the second person so we press start well, this guy got tagged for that one originally and then he's lost the tag what we haven't done is tidied up those remount two tags so Ah, remount two, remove that. Start. Okay. What we could do, we could exclude the different remounts too. If you wanted to, if you're worried about it getting all mixed up, you could exclude in here. You could exclude remount one or remount two, depending on which one. But anyway, it's working so far. So let's copy this to remount three. And this would be the same and we'd have two of these this time and basically we've got to go through and change all them to a three An easy way to do that is to save it find your mission file remount Control, this is in Notepad++, Remount 3, okay, there's the, if I highlight all that, and I change, Remount, Remount 2, replace with, remount three and then with that in selection change all them and also want to change remount two to remount three
tree. Uh, you can easily, I can go to the top or bottom of a, a block of code by simply holding Control and pressing B. And if I hold Control Alt and press B, it selects that whole block. Replace all. So that replaced all them. Do the same for this one. Make sure, yep. Replace all, then save that. Go back in here and go reload. And that should have fixed everything up. Remount 3, yep. Okay, might need an extra dude on the map. Press start. Okay, so there's a bit of conflict there between the two. We didn't we only got two guys on there and one, so finish. What I could potentially do is add a condition here and we'll go trigger and we'll go remount two, add another trigger condition, remount three, and then in this bit here, you right click and then go edit. And then I'm going to do apostrophe there that's above the one holding shift shift one so that's that means so condition one and not condition two or three so it shouldn't fire if the other two are working so if I copy that edit paste in there hit enter edit Enter and then in both of these trigger. So we want to exclude one. And three. And in here we want to exclude One and two it'll be. Let's see if that overrides it. Why didn't remount one get? Oh, huh. it this I mustn't have pressed pressed enter here. Okay, so we're going to have to exclude those existing ones, maybe. Okay, so the magic of pausing it while you uh, work out what's going on. So, basically in these if statements in here, where we re-tag them, we want to go into the selector and we want to exclude that. Okay, so same in the remount 3. In both of these, we're tagging the selector remount 3. But we want to exclude him here as well. Because basically it tags one here. And the condition. 
then it tags a second one here and it's what's happening is it's re-tagging the same guy which is why it's not getting two and three so in both of them we want to make sure we exclude the same name we're tagging so it doesn't pick the previous ones again so start even though some of these are tagged that's okay at this stage We sometimes end up with four, but there's room for four, so. There we go. That'll even have a crew or two. That's working better, anyway. So have a play with that. See if it suits your purposes. You can delete that extra board out of there. Ah. Wait till they get loaded up and then we'll change these whoever's left to what did we get on there that time? Three, two, yeah that worked well. And then it gets there's a sniper. blind now oh, here we go we can play a row What the? Should have threw them off. Okay, so he's fixing it and two jumped on. That worked out well. We need a couple more humans. Must be someone still. Oh no. That's been damaged. Okay. Broken component. Let's just take that out for the moment. And they've remounted it. Three of them. And. Well, so instead of having, if looks like they're going to repair it if it's um, if it's damaged, so you could change that to instead of instead of excluding the uh, broken components, you could just exclude the tag. 
destroyed because they're not going to hop on it when it's got the destroyed tag so as an option here take out broken components and replace it with excluding the tag destroyed and they'll even auto repair them so there you go that's something to play with good luck